In this video, we're gonna be installing the AFD Air Scoop on the F-33. Let's go. What's up everyone, I'm Steve and you're watching F-33. Now, if you like this video, give a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss when a new video drops. Now, usually the first thing that people do when they start modifying their cars is they get a cold air intake. Now, the problem is, is that a lot of these so-called cold air intakes don't actually add any horsepower. Most of these intakes are not sealed and really just pull in Air, hot air from the engine bay, whereas the OEM intake is sealed and pulls air from right behind the kidney grills. Now, because I have the M Power Pack, I actually have a little bit of extra duct work that uh, really pulls in that air from behind those kidney grills. Um, but if you would like more directed air and a more uh, linear throttle response, AFE has the answer with this intake scoop. Now they have a couple different versions. They have this carbon one that I have, and they also have a plastic. Now I chose to get carbon fiber for my air scoop, but if I had to do it all over again, I would probably have gone with the plastic one and maybe just wrapped it. Now the reason I would have probably gone with the plastic one is that you can barely see this from behind the kidney grills. If you look, it's really just you're seeing this edge unless you're sticking your face up to the kidney grill to actually see the carbon fiber. Now, one thing that I would recommend no matter what you choose is to remove the AFE logo that sits right here. It's this shiny sticker and it really doesn't look all that great. Now, I would definitely love to have gotten an Eventuri carbon intake. Uh, that also actually comes with an air, uh, an air scoop, but those are so expensive. And really, for 50 bucks for the plastic one and about 100 bucks for the carbon one, you really can't go wrong. This is going to really increase your airflow and give you a more linear throttle response. All right, so um, why don't we head out to the garage? This is a super quick install, so we'll head out to the garage and get this installed. The tools needed for this install are a T25 and a T30. The installation difficulty, super easy. The first thing you'll need to do is remove the driver's side kidney grill. To do this, remove the six T30s and two T25s holding the top of the bumper in place. Then you can slide your hand behind the grill to start unclipping it. Now remove the mesh grill covering your intake port by releasing the two front tabs. Those tabs can be released by pulling the rubber tab on the intake port and that should release those plastic tabs from the mesh grill. Next, slide the scoop in place, making sure that the rubber opening is inside of the scoop. That's what's gonna hold it in place. Now that we have the air scoop in, let's put that mesh grill back in place so that we can protect the intake from debris. This is directional, so make sure that the large tab is on the bottom and facing the engine bay. Slide those rear tabs in first, and then you'll be able to clip the front tabs in place. Now replace those T30s and T25s that you took out to hold the bumper in place. All right, last step is to reinstall your kidney grill. This is done by just lining up the tabs and pressing the grill in place. All right, so as you saw, installing the AFE air scoop is really easy and only takes a couple minutes to install. And this should really help direct that air more into the intake and give us a more linear throttle response. Now, as always, I have put links in the description below to all the products and tools used in the video today. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, smash it if that's what you're into, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless.